doing today? Well, baby, if your name is Sean Diddy Combs, you might have just sent out a thinly veiled message to the rest of the record industry. Y'all, if you don't know what happened, Diddy was in his feelings over Grammy weekend, right? Because let's not forget the first time he was ever actually nominated for a Grammy. And let's not forget, Clive Davis probably said, my baby, getting a Grammy this year. As much as he was nominated for a Grammy and he was excited and he thought this was his year, baby, his actions finally caught up to him. Now, of course, the Grammys didn't know how to say you not invited. They hemmed and hauled until they finally just said, um, sir, can, can you can you just not come? And Clive came out and said, anywhere I go, my man's invited. But here's the thing. Clive Davis didn't have enough power to uh, save him because even Beyonce and Jay-Z, it's rumored, canceled their Grammy brunch because they didn't want to be associated with Diddy. Now, Diddy was in his feelings, and he finally, after a how long, had the nerve to post a trailer to his love album. I guess he said, I finally got all eyes on me. Maybe somebody will pay attention to that album. And before y'all get into the comments talking about, T said, it was a good album. I don't care. We are dragging the white fingernail bandit, okay? So anyway, what ended up happening? Well, I'll tell y'all, Diddy posted this mess on his Twitter, on his Instagram, probably his LinkedIn, trying to remind us he did other things besides host a white fingernail party. He literally posted this. But here's the funny thing, okay? He returned to Instagram to reminisce about his love album. Here's the funny thing, and I'll say it once and I'll say it again, okay? Diddy was in his feelings about this mess. He was bitter, bitty, bet, betty about not being at the Grammys, okay, or winning anything. But it's also hilarious because he's low-key calling out all, and this is what I was trying to get to, calling out all the celebrities that worked with them, the ones who are now acting like they don't know who he is. But if you listen to the words of it, people are saying he is sending a thinly veiled message to everybody on that album because people are saying that Diddy is trying to get into that mindset of, baby, if I'm going down, you going down with us. First of all, let me play the love trailer and then, okay, and then meet me back here because, baby, we, gotta, we have to really, really dissect it because, baby, he's... Threatening, if people can be believed, to spill major, major tea. Because, baby, he got the receipts. And remember how Cassie and Tiffany Red, we'll talk about Tiffany Red. She has a project coming up. And all these people are saying that Diddy did not do this alone. Diddy was protected. If he didn't pay people money, he let people partake in the white fingernail parties. And if you want to believe certain people, also, he basically had some of these people actually participating in the white fingernail party. First of all, let's hear what he has to say. Then meet me after the jump and I'll give you all the tea. All right. The love album. The love album is a frequency. It was produced to hit you in a certain part of your soul to elevate you and to bring the love out of you. It was made by the best producers, best artists, best singers, best songwriters. And I want to thank everybody that helped this album, everybody that listened to this album, everybody that made love to this album. I love y'all. Congratulations to all the nominees. Let's fucking go. Okay, first of all, I 100% believe these blind items because consider this, right? Look at when he's flipping through. He literally stops at talking about it was made by some of the best producers. But look at the producers he stops at. Stevie J, we don't even need for somebody to come out and expose Stevie J. He is a proud psychopath. Okay, that's my opinion. He has not been clinically diagnosed, but it is my opinion. Then we go over to the dream. Now, I don't know about what the dream did undercover, but I do know by the way he treated Christina Milian and Nivea and quite a few people, baby, he might have some skeletons in his pot closet too. He then goes to Timberlake. He then shows Justin Bieber, you know, all the rumors about what was going on between him and Justin Bieber. Okay. He didn't spotlight Usher, but can we remember that there's a lot of rumors going out on about Diddy and Usher, including Diddy's Playhouse, the things he had Usher 
and Justin Bieber doing, and to the point of what not together, of course, they were there at separate times. But let's not forget that Usher's mom, when she got wind of what was going on at daddy's house, Diddy's house, she went and got her baby boy and bought him home. It has long been rumored that Justin Bieber and, I, and Usher were turned out by Diddy. Let's also not forget that there is a video of, uh, of Justin Bieber. I'll, I'll put it in here if I can find them. But a video of him out of his mind looked like he's in La La Land doing something strange for some change at Diddy's house, okay? Now, let me just say this, okay? Let's get into actually who worked on the Love album because, baby, if he's literally trying to throw shots, baby, shots were actually fired. Uh, let me pull this up for y'all really quick, okay? Let's look at this who's who's, okay? And let's also not forget that Diddy actually said for everybody that worked, all the producers, all this, and everybody that made love to the Love album. Now, why did that strike, strike me as odd? Because you don't remember, I think it was Tiffany Red or was it Kat? No, Tiffany, I don't know if it was Tiffany Red, but somebody released the fact that Diddy used to make the only time he would play Cassie's music is when she was involved in a freak off, okay? If that's what he's into, it does make me think that he would want his music playing while he was also having freak offs of another sort. Anyway, right? The Dream. Um, Herb Alpert, Nova Wave, Buster Rhymes, Dom Richards, Kalina, Nija, Josie, Jocks, Fabulous, Sway Lee, Summer Walker, The Weeknd, French Montana, 21 Savage, Justin Bieber, Jasmine Sullivan, Ty Dolla Sign, Kalani, Coco Jones, uh, Kalan, For Real, For Real, KC, from KC and JoJo, and you already know what the KC and JoJo didn't. Aaron Hall actually say that, that Jodeci was in the room while he was going to town and Diddy was watching too. Tell me they wasn't, mm, anyway, right? Jeremiah. What's up with Jeremiah? Girl, I, 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 I. girl, okay. Mary J. Blige, Tiana Teller, Burner Boy, Babyface, John Legend, and her. Yo, what's been going on with John Legend and Christy, uh, his wife, Christy Teigen? This is an aside. John Legend, Christy Teigen has gone in a weirdo zone, and John Legend, yeah, anyway, right? Also, uh, the extended version was released five days later after the drop and contains additional guest appearances by Bryson Teeler, Party Next Door, and Metro Booming. Production was handled by a variety of record producers such as Diddy, Nova Way, Ty Dollar Sign, Metro Bo Booming, alongside Stevie J, Timberland, London on the Track, Jay Dilla, D Mal, Oz, The Stereotypes, Mike Schultz, and Dahila among others. Now, hear me out on this, right? I'm not accusing anybody on this list of doing something. I am saying that the streets are saying that Diddy, by him posting that, is sending a thinly veiled message. Because isn't it odd that nobody in the music industry is really coming out against Diddy? Nobody in the music industry really has anything to say about Diddy. It makes you honestly think, what actually is going on? And if Diddy is letting people know that if you abandon me, baby, you got dirt in your closet too. Now, it has been said many, many times that Diddy somehow thinks that if he can throw somebody to the wolves of public opinion, then he'll skate away. I still don't understand that logic if that is even what Diddy's thinking. Again, I do have to say at this point, Diddy has maintained his innocence. Even though he paid Cassie off, he said that's not an admission. He has maintained his innocence. And he has said, said that he is fighting for his life, his livelihood. He's fighting for his reputation. He refuses to go down because he is innocent. And he's going to take back everything people took from him. Nothing has been um, independently confirmed either for or against. Nothing has independently been confirmed or disproven in this whole situation. So we're going to have to wait for it to go to court, even though I have a feeling Diddy's going to settle. He better because, baby, a major media corporation, uh, a major media conglomerate is making a four-part docu-series going deep 
deep, deep. And baby, this ain't no 50 cents. It's going to be seen around the world. As much as we are feasting on what is happening to Diddy overseas, his reputation will be trash. So what is that saying? Diddy somehow believes that if he throws other people out and starts leaking information about other producers, other performers, other people that had freak off like proclivities, either participating in or having their own freak off lights, right? Then he believes that that will draw the attention off of him. Now, let me just say it is a stupid idea. It'll probably never work. But listen, has anything in the way Diddy handled this struck you as smart? struck you as what he should be do doing, struck you as anything, it hasn't. So out of sitting there watching someone and out of every single time you can make a good decision or a stupid one, he chooses a stupid one. Forgive me if I actually think that this is going to be stupid part do and he is going to mismanage this. Again, time will tell. The court cases are coming up. Did he better settle with Douglas Wigmore and Tyrone A. Blackburn if he knows what's good for him? But you know what? At the end of the day, <laughs> oh no, oh no. Listen, thank you, Diddy, for keeping us entertained into 2024. We are going to have to wait to see what happens, but I don't know. I actually do because it makes no other sense why he would post this unless he's letting everybody all and baby, don't abandon me because I know where all the bodies are buried probably because we buried them together. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.